Hello everyone, my name is Keshav Jadav and in this video we are going to solve some problems on heat engine. First we will see what is heat engine. Heat engine is a device which works in cyclic process. It absorbs the heat from high temperature heat reservoir called source, convert part of that heat into work and remaining heat is rejected to low temperature heat reservoir called sink. Here, the source temperature T1 is always greater than sink temperature T2. We can apply first law of thermodynamics to this heat engine. According to first law of thermodynamics to cyclic device, the total amount of energy entering into the system is equal to total energy leaving the system. So here total energy coming into the system is Q1 and energy leaving the system is W and Q2. So according to first law Q1 is equal to W plus Q2 or we can rewrite as W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. The performance of heat engine can be measured by a term called efficiency. It can be denoted by symbol eta. Efficiency is the ratio of work output divided by heat input. So for this heat engine work output is W and heat input is Q1. So efficiency of heat engine is equal to W upon Q1. Here this W can be replaced by Q1 minus Q2 and if we simplify then we will get efficiency of heat engine as 1 minus Q2 upon Q1. Here Q2 it is the heat rejected to the sink and Q1 it is heat absorbed by the engine from source. If this heat engine works in reversible process which is also called as Carnot heat engine then the ratio of heat transfer can be replaced by ratio of its absolute temperatures. We can get formula for reversible heat engine by replacing Q2 by Q1 ratio by T2 by T1. Here this T1 it is source temperature and T2 it is sink temperature in Kelvin. Let us solve one numerical based around heat engine. A cyclic heat engine operates between a source temperature of 800 degree Celsius and sink temperature of 30 degree Celsius. What is the least rate of heat rejection per kilowatt net output of the engine? Now as this numerical is based around heat engine, first we can draw a block diagram for heat engine. Now here this is the source and this is the sink. So here it is given the source temperature of 800 degree Celsius means this is T1. So we can write T1 is equal to 800 degree Celsius and we can convert this degree Celsius into Kelvin by adding 273. So 800 plus 273 is equal to 1073 Kelvin. Then here it is given sink temperature of 30 degree Celsius. So this temperature is sink temperature. So T2 is equal to 30 degree Celsius. And we can convert into Kelvin by adding 273. So 30 plus 273 is equal to 303 Kelvin. Here it is written what is the least rate of heat rejection. So heat rejection means Q2 per kilowatt net output of the engine. So we have to calculate Q2 for 1 kilowatt work output. So W is equal to 1 kilowatt. Now to calculate Q2 we have formula W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. But here in this formula we don't know Q1. So we cannot directly use this formula. Now here it is written least rate of heat rejection means we have to calculate the lowest value of Q2. So for Carnot heat engine or reversible heat engine Q2 will be lowest that is efficiency will be higher. By assuming this heat engine is reversible heat engine we can write formula for efficiency of reversible heat engine as W upon Q1 which is also equal to 1 minus T2 upon T1. So here temperature T2 and T1 is given to us. So we can calculate efficiency by using this formula. Here we have to put value of T1 and T2 in Kelvin. So that we will get efficiency of heat engine as 0 0.7176. Or we can write in percentage. Now for reversible heat engine efficiency can also be calculated by using formula W upon Q1. Now here W is known to us efficiency we have calculated. So here by putting value of efficiency and W we can get value of Q1. So here we will get Q1 is equal to 1.3935 kilowatt as unit of W is kilowatt Q1 will also in kilowatt. Now to calculate Q2 we have W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. We can rewrite this as Q2 is equal to Q1 minus W. So here by putting value of Q1 and W we can get Q2 is equal to 0 0.3935 kilowatt. So as units of Q1 and W are kilowatt unit of Q2 will be kilowatt. Therefore, least rate of heat rejection per kilowatt net output of engine will be equal to 0 0.3935 kilowatt. Here, instead of W is equal to Q1 minus Q2, we can use another formula. As this is reversible heat engine, we can use Q2 upon Q1 is equal to T2 upon T1. 
so here t1 t2 and q1 is known to us so we can get value of q2 is equal to 0 0.3935 which is same as previous the same solution we can get by another method also we can get efficiency similar to previous case and by using this formula we can get value of q1 in terms of q2 so by rearranging this we can get q1 is equal to q2 into t1 upon t2 so here by putting value of t1 and t2 we can get q1 is equal to 3.5412 q2 then by using efficiency formula we can put value of efficiency as 0 0.7176 w is equal to 1 and q1 is equal to 3.5412 into q2 and if we solve this equation for q2 then we will get q2 is equal to 0 0.3935 kilowatt which is same as previous so in this way we can get the solution by different ways let us take another example a heat engine operates between source and sink temperatures of 235 degree celsius and 30 degree celsius respectively if heat engine receives 35 kilowatt from source find first efficiency of the heat engine second the net work done by the engine and third heat rejected to the sink by the engine so as this is problem based around heat engine we can draw a block diagram of heat engine so here this is the source and this is the sink now from the statement we can write the given data so here it is given the source temperature is 235 degree celsius and sink temperature is 30 degree celsius so we can write t1 is equal to 235 degree celsius and we can convert into kelvin by adding 273 so 235 plus 273 is equal to 508 kelvin and t2 is equal to 30 degree celsius and if we convert into kelvin then we will get 303 kelvin so here it is given heat engine receives 35 kilowatt from source so from source heat engine receives q1 amount of heat so this 35 kilowatt is q1 so q1 is equal to 35 kilowatt and here we have to find out the efficiency work output and heat rejected q2 so first we will find the efficiency so by assuming this heat engine is a reversible heat engine we can write formula for efficiency of reversible heat engine as w upon q1 or 1 minus t2 upon t1 so here t1 and t2 temperatures are given to us so by putting values of t1 and t2 we can get efficiency of reversible heat engine as 0.4035 or 40.35 percent now to find the work output we can use efficiency is equal to w upon q1 so we can put value of efficiency and q1 and we can get value of w that is work output as 14.1225 and here as unit of q1 is kilowatt the unit of w will also be kilowatt so this is the net work done by the engine now to calculate q2 we have w is equal to q1 minus q2 now here value of w we have calculated value of q1 is given to us so by putting value of q1 and w we can get value of q2 so here q2 that is heat rejected to the sink is equal to 20.8775 and its unit will be same as unit of q1 and w which is kilowatt so in this way we can solve any problem on heat engine by using these formulas thank you